Did my cousin just threaten to stab me? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, from the 26th of June, which is coincidentally in four days, I just had to check them, be really swift about it. I'm going to be uploading every other day, or every three days, depending on what I'm doing, how's everything going, and if I can be bothered. I never have liked doing videos every single day, I'm never going to enjoy that, so... I'm not going to promise to do them every day, but I can promise every other day or every three days. So there's not going to be a set schedule for quite a while. So today I'm going to be giving you another story time. Shazam! I think that's what it says. So, sorry about that. The story starts with us going to Devon. We visit our family in Devon every holiday because we live such a, like, a long way away. So we have to make time and travel and blah. To be honest, I have quite a, a big family down south, so it's really hard to see everyone in a selected period of time because we normally don't go up for very long, down for very long, sorry. Ugh. My uncle's girlfriend, let's call her Laura, um, is kind enough to put up my um, my sister and her girlfriend, Erin and Tia, while we're down there, so my, my nan's house isn't as cramped as it would be with loads of people in it, so there's only four people in the bungalow, otherwise it would be six in the bungalow. That's that's fine. So we drive down to the apartment that my sister and her girlfriend are staying at and it's weirdly connected to Laura's house. It's weird but cool. My cousin Grace almost immediately greets us at the door and she gives us like a massive hug because she hasn't seen us since summer. Before coming I had like heard a lot of stories about Grace. Um, how she had like a really bad reputation, really bad behaviour. But I didn't, I chose not to believe it because I know how people can exaggerate situations and I was going to give her a chance. At first she's kind, she's the typical child who just wants to play, running around watching TV, on her gadgets, you got any games on your phone, that kind of child. She begins like saying mean things on purpose and mispronouncing my name to Kieran. I'm sorry but... My name's not Kieran, it's Kira or Shakira or nothing, it's not Kieran. It's obviously that she's wanting attention and it's obvious that she's wanting our time and she thinks that my mispronounce my name to Kieran, it's funny and she just keeps doing it because that's what children do. Grace also treats their dog Dylan, he's the cutest little thing in the whole wide world, like a toy you just throw around and she mistreats him so much that I don't think Laura actually sees how bad she is with him. Grace disappeared for a while and it was really quiet, I think she went into her room to do something and it was really quiet, me and my sister and her girlfriend were just sat in the living room just chilling, watching the TV, enjoying the peace and quiet after Grace has just kind of came in and shook us all up. Then, out of nowhere, she literally runs at me with a pizza cutter, like one of those pizza cutter things, and she's like, trying to jab me with it, but obviously I'm not that scared because pizza cutters aren't, aren't gonna do shit to me, so I'm not pizza, they can't cut me up. A few minutes pass and she's disappeared again. Grace runs so fast at me with the potato peeler. Oh my God, she just ran so friggin' fast with a potato peeler. I laughed at her and I was like, okay, this is getting kind of stupid. The things that she's like running at me with are getting more and more dangerous. As I was laughing at her, she turned around and promised to get a knife next time. And I was like, um, did my cousin just threaten to stab me? What the fuck is going on with this devil child? Grace sneaks into the kitchen to get a knife. He literally gets up and goes into the kitchen, into the drawer, past Laura and my mum, and goes to get a knife. My heart is kind of racing because this kid is literally about to get a knife and stab me with it. Grace fortunately gets caught, obviously, by Laura, but then she claims she wants scissors to cut and stick. Eh, cut and stick my organs to a wall. Laura grants Grace with a pair of scissors, and then Grace comes running at me, sharp end at the ready, and just bolts at me and I'm like what the fuck just charges like some psychopath that has been locked away in a cupboard for like five million years and has finally come into civilization just cannot deal with it luckily I stopped her that time from doing any damage but I'm honestly frightened of going into that fucking apartment because that crazy beast is in there that's it for this video I'm really sorry if it's messy and not what you expected it to be of a story time you quite like the story time I posted about my dad and the girl on the tram if you want to see that the link will be in the description below as always um thank you so much for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below something you've experienced with a psychopath I know there's some stories out there that we don't want to really know with psychopaths but we're gonna have them anyway three, four three bye do you remember in year six when we used to sign each other's shirts and shit bye Got back today, um, 
my look at my boobs. I haven't read them all yet because I haven't actually taken this off. I'm still like in the process of kind of accepting the fact that I've left and I'm just kind of uh, it's like RIP my school life. Please tell me I press record. I did. Oh my god, I'm so clever.